Good morning and welcome to another ironic introduction to a video. Today I'm here to talk about a unit deal that Kabam is offering. Um, I do get the sense uh, that this unit deal is very much geared towards new players because uh, if it wasn't it wouldn't be a three-star hero crystal and it would have way more value. Um, this $5 package one has a three-star hero crystal, a level two health potion, and an energy refill. But you'll see that if I actually keep on scrolling across that it doesn't change even as the package goes up, which doesn't really make a lot of sense uh, from a selling standpoint for Kabam because you would think, oh, as people spend more money, we want that deal to be better. But in reality, as you spend more money, your deal becomes worse because what you're getting for your money is essentially becoming incrementally less the more you spend. I mean, I guess you could make the argument if you're a space whale and you just buy all of them anyways, then it doesn't matter, but I wouldn't recommend that. Um, earlier in this endgame month, they had a deal with five star shards in it. And I mean, I thought that was an amazing deal. It was so good that that was when I took the opportunity to say, you know what? I really, really, really want some masteries. I know that units are hard to come by. I mean, even with the amount of arena grinding I do, it's still, I mean, masteries are just so flipping expensive, um, especially like the really good ones. Um, it just, stony carb uh, cores are like, there's one that's 135 and then like carb carbadium cores are like 550. I mean, it just takes so long to build up um, and you get the mastery points so much faster. So looking at these, I, I mean, I think without a doubt, it is easy to say $100 one, not worth. But when I come down to the bottom, right, the $5 one, where the value is the highest, I look at this and I say, man, that's that's actually a pretty good deal, right? So you look at it and you say, okay, 135 units for $5, that's the standard, and energy refill is 30 units, so right off the bat, you're looking at roughly a 15%-ish uh, uh, uh deal on top, a level 2 health potion is negligible, and a 3 star hero crystal. Now for me, there's a low chance that that will be a character I don't own, so most likely it just will translate to some ISO, some 4 star shards, which is always worth, um, and maybe um, some signature rays on a character, which is actually a pretty good deal for me. Um, and I might as well mention this skill crystal over here, this limit one per day, that's, you know, totally not worth. I mean, if you're a space whale, buy that every day, right? Like, you know, there's a chance you'll get a four star in it, you get the four, tier four skill catalyst fragments, you know, that that's totally worth it if you're a whale. Um, I'm not quite that big of a whale. When I did start off, I did buy a few of these because starting off, every crystal was a new character. So even as a two star, it's like, this is so good, I need this new character. Um, and I work a lot of overtime, so I kind of justify in my head the amount of time I spend at work um, working so much by saying, okay, well, at least I'm spending some money on something that uh, other people might say is a waste of money, but I say is, you know, it's a hobby. Um, so that being said, I look at these and I say, I think that $5 one is a high value. Um, you know, you're looking at roughly, if you value the three-star hero crystal at, uh, let's say... 50 units because I know it's worth more but at the end of the day I, I'm trying to rate it pretty low just because if you're a veteran player it's definitely worth a lot less to you and if you're a new player it's definitely worth a lot more so this five dollar deal I would say is anywhere from a 250 to 300 percent value to a like 130 140 percent value either way I'm looking at that saying that's pretty good uh, and this $10 one is arguably somewhere in the same range, arguably worth, I'm not going to bother, I don't think it's worth it for me, I'm just going to grind the rest of my units, I'm still stinging from the way Kabam got me with that OG vision, maybe there's some of you out there who are also stinging, just as bad if not worse than me, um, but this is definitely geared towards new players. Um, I am going to get this $5 one I think, I think it's just too high of a deal, too good of a deal to pass up, but because I've got a one day and 17 hours, I'm actually in the process of grinding towards uncollected. Now, it's hard for me because I'm no pro player. Um, I've only been playing for about a month. Well, you know, less than 30 days because I'm still in the beginner bracket. But I'm, I'm right here at the end of Act 4. Um, and I'm, I'm so close to uncollected, I can taste it. I'm really trying to do it without, like, using tons of, uni of units to revive. I actually haven't spent any units to revive yet. I haven't spent any units to use potions. I've just been relying on that four-hour crystal. 
um, and then just going back and clearing other content as I've needed uh, in order to get other rewards. I've 100% cleared uh, Act Chapter 1. Um, but I wonder if that crystal changes as you as you go forward um, and reach a certain point of the game. Because for veteran players, let's say if you're uncollected, maybe this is a 3 slash 4 star hero crystal, which would be worth a lot more to me and would actually hold some value to a veteran player. Maybe not a lot. Maybe someone who's cleared Act 5 all the way has a guaranteed 4 star hero crystal uh, just because in order to clear Act 5 all the way, uh, you probably have a good roster of five stars at that point. So a four star hero crystal is the base of what would be, you know, a three star for me. That being said, I'm going to see if in the next day in 17 hours, I can't push uncollected. Uh, it's tough. I mean, I know other players can do it with champions way weaker than mine, but, uh, while I think I'm a decent player, I'm definitely not good enough to go without getting hit at all. And, uh, I feel like once I get hit, there's a lot of punishment. Uh, that being said, if you're not still, you know, deep wound bleeding from the OG Vision deal, you've got five dollars to spend. Definitely think Peter Parker, Peter Parker's wallet is a good deal. You should get it. Uh, other than that, talk to you later.